Got invention? I do. Hi, my name is Brian Freed. I'm 39 years old. I'm from Melville, New York, which is on Long Island. I've always been an inventor. I started to take my ideas a little bit more seriously. When I got married, I had a kid. I started to see other people, what they were doing, and come up with better ways to do them. And I started to say, you know what? I'm in business. I'm an inventor. So I started to work on my inventions, and as I was doing that, I started to realize that other people needed help with their inventions. I'd be great for your show. I've been working with inventors as a consultant, as a sidekick. I've licensed my own products, manufactured my own products. I've helped inventors license theirs and also manufacture them. We've seen our products in big box retailers, in specialty stores, in catalogs, on home shopping channels, on As Seen on TV. So I've been there and done that and I continue to keep building levels of success to bring different products to market. And actually, I have a couple that I put on the table here I'd like to show you. Started off with this one. There's the balloon band. I started to go to these amusement parks and to these, uh, to these kid shows and started to buy these $8, $10 Mylar balloons. And I would tie it too tight where the kid would cut off their circulation or it would be too loose where the balloon would fly away. So I came up with this nylon wristband with a metal D-ring on it and the balloon ribbon gets attached to this. Anytime the kid or parent wants to take it on and off, they take it on and off. They can put it on their belt buckle. They can put it on their, um, on their stroller, on their bag. And if the parent or the kid drops it, when the balloon is on here, it's also a weight so the balloon doesn't fly away. So I've learned something so simple, but this was one of my first lessons learned and realized that there was a lot more to just coming up with the idea. I'll show you another one. I came up with a snack container. Scoop up the snacks, eat from it, close it, walk away with it, and it started to look more and more like a face. Well, here's the face now. You know, simple design, you know, not a major invention, but here, I have a design, and now I have Elmo Cookie Monster, which is in mass retailers and some other stores, and now you can find Elmo and Cookie Monster Snackospheres out in the market. I'll show you another one. I came home one night and there was no room left in my fridge. I opened up the fridge and I saw that there was a carton of eggs in there, one egg left, and all that space for that carton that had one egg. So I came up with this. It's a collapsible egg tray. I didn't bring any eggs to demonstrate here, but I'll show you. You put two eggs in each of the, in each of the trays. You take two eggs out, you push it back, keep pushing it back until there's that much space left. And that's why I called it extra space. So it only takes up the space that you need for the amount of eggs you have left. So this has been in some catalogs and been on Home Shopping Channel. So this is another one of my inventions. Here's another one. One of my favorite cereals, O's. Always left with the bag open and for some reason the box was always ripped up. I started to realize that the cereals were always left open. Sometimes I didn't eat them for a while, they became stale. Cereal bags, freezer bags, the, the french fries that you buy from the club stores, the big ones, you know, you try to twist and turn them, you put chip clips on them, you use twist ties, you use these plastic tabs, freezer bags, cereal bre bags, bread bags. So I came up with a better way. I came up with this product, it's called Pull Ties. You take any, any of those plastic bags that I told you, you put it through the loop, you push it down, you push the button, you pull it up, and it seals it tight. And I've demonstrated these. I've been on one of the home shopping channels for over two and a half years, sold quite a bit of these, and uh, I've demoed them with 20 pounds of potatoes that, I, that I've held. Here's another one. This I now call the one, two, three meals. It's a complete microwave cooker where you can make a complete meal, whether it's steak or chicken or vegetables, and you, pasta, rice, and I have a patent on the drain. So it's a colander and a bowl, and you put the water in, and when you twist it, the water drains from the bottom. So after you have hot steaming water or broth, you just twist it, and it drains from the bottom. And you stack meal, you stack different parts of the meal inside, and now you have a complete microwave cooker, and it also comes with a complete cookbook. So that's that. So as I started to work on my inventions and, and help other inventors, I authored a book called You and Your Big Ideas to Continue Helping Inventors. It's a resource guide for inventors, innovators, and entrepreneurs. It's found on Amazon. It's also as a Kindle. And 
I started to continue to see that there was a demand for information, so I started a radio show called Got Invention Radio in 2009, and I've interviewed high-profile inventors and resources for inventors, including Ron Papil, who's a famous inventor, uh, also Hasbro, Johnson & Johnson, United States Patent and Trademark Office is a regular on the show, LegalZoom, people from Shark Tank, so that's been pretty active. And, uh, and then also, I founded two inventors clubs on Long Island with both county executives. Now, both Suffolk and Nassau County on Long Island can make up the 17th largest state in the country. So we have a really nice networking that goes on within the meetings. There's people that talk, uh, resources for inventors, question answer to keep moving ideas forward and keep innovation really thriving on Long Island. That's me. That's Got Invention Radio, all kinds of activity. Thank you very much. Keep on inventing.